Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is a quick hit, straight to the point. This is a verse of the day. This is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. All right, now this is a milk scripture, but it's foundation. It's principle. Okay, because without these things, without the fear, without wisdom, without knowledge, without understanding, okay, faith, you won't be able to, to serve the Lord. You can't please the Lord. It's not possible. All right, to not have fear, to not have the wisdom, to not have knowledge, and to not have understanding ultimately makes up what? Faith. Okay? So it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because when you first hear this truth, you know, it, it feels good and it tastes good. You know, it's sweet. You know, you realize who you are. You know, you knowing, you know, what's the true name of the Lord? Knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite. The first thing that you want to do is correct your ways because you fear. You don't want the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, to destroy you. So you put away the wicked. You find out, okay, what is righteous and what is the way we supposed to live? Because I know that living today in this world is not the right way. All right. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right. Now, wisdom comes through experience. So let me just get a quick, uh, quick blue letter search for wisdom. Right. And I believe that Hebrew word is chachama or chachba chacha saying it right anyway it says uh wisdom skill and war wisdom creation shrewdness wisdom wisdom prudence and religious affairs wisdom ethnical or religious okay this is the strongs it says wisdom wisely skillful man wisdom in a good sense skillful wisdom wisely wit Skill. All right, so wisdom mean what? Skill. It means wisely to be prudent. Okay? To have your wits about you in the right way. So it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And how are you supposed to be skillful? Skillful and walking in the ways of the Lord. Okay? You're supposed to be wise in the ways of the Lord. You know, knowing what is evil so that you can do right. Knowing both sides of the spectrum, the good and the evil. You know, that's the reason why, you know, according to the movie, entirely why we're in this captivity. All right, because Adam went off. Okay, well, Eve went off, but Adam in the transgressions. You know, the angel said, you know, now they be as one of us, knowing good and evil. So now we're on the bottom the bottom spectrum of things learning of wickedness and we have a prime we have a perfect example to show us what is the ultimate wickedness and that is Esau Edom throughout his kingdom that we're living in now and being that we're at the end all right it proves and shows us you know how evil you can be so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom all right to be with to be wise to use wisdom all right, to be prudent. It says the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay, so the knowledge is having is, is to know. All right, the key word, root word there, knowledge is know. So you know, all right, your uh, ancient customs. You know your ancient traditions. All right, you know your history. Okay, you know the prophecies. You know the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and the knowledge of the holy. Now we know that the word holy, holy means to be separate. 
and the Heavenly Father called us to be a holy people unto himself. All right, and it says a special people unto him. So to know, to be of the holy people as the Lord chose is understanding. Okay, understanding. Now, you know, I really don't need to look this up, but just want to see what it what, what it says for understanding, right? By, by, okay. It says understanding discernment. All right. One thing we learn in this truth is raining heavy here, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, one, one thing we learn in this truth, the Lord gives us that spirit of discernment by opening up the understanding within us. You know, Elder Possible Ball always bring out how the word educate means to uh, draw out. So what is drawing out of us is the understanding of things we once knew. Okay, it says act, faculty, object, personified, wisdom, knowledge, meaning, perfectly, understanding. So we'll be perfect. One way that the Lord is uh, making us perfect is by the way of his understanding, all right? Uh, wisdom. Okay. And that's understanding, it gives you a lot for that. Uh, bear with me, I just wanna look up another word. Faculty. Your faculties are your physical and mental abilities. So, hey, our mental ability is our spiritual ability. And that's through the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Holy of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to get into these scriptures. Okay, let's see. Oh, personified. It says if you say that someone personifies a particular thing or quality, you mean that they seem to be a perfect example of that thing. Ooh. It says, um, or to have that quality to a very large degree. And who how we personify as being men of the Lord. All right, the prophets are personified to be prophets. A particular thing. Okay, it says the mean that they seem to be a perfect example of that thing. So the men of the Lord are a perfect example unto you, all right, to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so you know, that's basically the point. Like I said, this is a quick lesson. Uh, it was my verse of the day. Hopefully, this lesson be edified. This is principle, foundation. Proverbs 9 and 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect, Shalom.